dealing with difficult people in this video we are going to discuss what is difficult people and what do we mean by dealing with difficult people we are going to talk about why we should deal with these individuals and what can we do about them you as a scrum master do not always have the authority to deal with individuals like a line manager would deal with them so what can you do as an agile leader as a team lead as a scrum master the solutions i'm going to discuss in this video are not just for scrum masters it could be any other team leader what do we mean by when we say difficult people who are they there are different categories of difficult people by difficult people we might mean people who are offensive who are rude these are the people who are aggressive to the team members and do not respect others in their team you have the other group of people these are negative they're not aggressive but they're negative they always have half empty glass of water no matter how brilliant the product is you're working no on. matter how good the team is performing they are always negative they can see negative thing in every single situation they will put the morale of the team down and when it comes to deadline they will not put any effort towards trying to meet that then you have the another group the people who are unable to take a constructive feedback and especially in scrum teams in agile teams in software development teams you need to be able to take that constructive feedback from your peers you have the code reviews you have other people testing your work and finding bugs in scrum and agile team you are always looking at improvements you are always suggesting recommendations and improvement no matter how good or brilliant you are as an individual or as a team these people are unable to take the constructive feedback these are the people who have big egos and whenever anyone is going to give them constructive feedback their big ego is going to get hurt and they are going to start arguments remember that for agile team ego is one of those big silent killers that destroys the performance of your team so if you have anyone who has a big ego in your team get rid of them but train your team members on how to give constructive feedback and how to take it when giving a constructive feedback always remember the sandwich formula give commendations praise them then give recommendations and finish off with some more praises you want to sort of look at both things what is going well within the team and what the individual is doing and also what they can do to improve themselves be honest and appreciate and praise the hard work the team members or the individual is putting into it so train your team members to give constructive feedback in a sandwich format when they are doing code reviews when they are mentoring those junior team members helping them always to give constructive feedback in a sandwich and the final group of people i want to talk about in this video to stop this video getting really big is the people who are unwilling and unable to work as part of team in agile teams we need people and we need them to work together they are teams they need to get to work with each other they need to be cross functional teams so you are working really closely with other people within the teams so if you have any individual who is unable who is not willing to work with other team members then that is a recipe for disaster now looking at solutions we have three options option 1 is simply do nothing but i want to warn you here same way if you put a one rotten apple in basket of apples it will rot the others same way if you put one difficult team member one person who doesn't get along with the team or has a bad habit you will notice him rubbing off onto other people really quickly for instance if you 
have a glass of water and another cup of black coffee and start to take few teaspoons and add the black coffee into glass of water you'll notice that very quickly the water will start to get dark and change its color but on the other way around no matter how much water you add to coffee it will take a lot of water for that coffee to change its color and would not become pure white water at all same way the negative attribute of these people will rub off onto other team members and that happy atmosphere that you have built within your agile and scrum team or any other team will slowly and really quickly rode away so option one is not an option at all so you should always deal with these difficult team members option two is dealing with that person yourself and when you're dealing with someone yourself then Firstly, understand where they are coming from. What is the reason behind their attitudes, their behaviors? If they are unable to take the constructive feedback, is that because they have a fear? Is that they, they lack confidence and that they are worried that some people will think negative or poorly of them? Or is they going to hurt the ego? So firstly, understand where they are coming from, have that discussion with them. Secondly, be genuine, honest and transparent and generally try to help them. So uh, firstly, tell them what the issue is. Rather than generalizing, look at some real life examples. Take notes and then sit with them and say, this is what you did for in this example and this is what I expected from you. And then give them the opportunity to correct themselves, correct their behaviors, correct their attitudes and deal with that. Tell them clearly what you expected of them in that situation. And work with them, help them, coach them to be a better team player, better individual. This works really well if the other person that you're working with respects you and trusts you. Or you will have to spend some time building trust with them alongside. But if they completely do not respect you, then you need to look at option three. Option three, again, is taking notes of actual examples of what has happened. And also it works really well if you have tried the option two of trying to help and mentor that person and tell them to help, is then to escalate that up to the senior management in HR and help them deal with it. There is that option of nuking the whole situation. You as a Scrum and Agile team can vote that person off a team. You as the Agile team can have a retrospective and one of the action can be the whole of team has voted this person off the team and said they will no longer accept this person in their team and pass that over to the senior management and the HR to deal with it. When working with any of the teams, one thing I'll recommend Especially when they're a new team that you set some ground rules as a team. Some ways of working agreement for the team. And that agreement must be for the whole team. The engineer, the tester, the scrum master and the product owner. It is for everyone. This is how we are going to work. That we must all attend our meetings on time. That we will always talk to each other with the respect and other things that you find as annoying those behaviors you can include those as well that when someone is talking you must not hold a phone in your hand or for instance no mobile phone in the meeting and you can have agreement like we do that in your retrospective everyone has to be on camera 
and you can even go further and say what meetings we will allow guests in as observers and what meetings is only for the team. For instance, retrospective, we will never allow any guests to come in. In this agreement, you can also add things like that when giving feedback, you will always give it in a language. What sort of behaviors you're expecting, how you should give feedback, what sort of things to look at when giving feedbacks, and all of those best practices in there as well. Thank you very much for making it so far through the video. I really appreciate that you have watched all of this video. Please be kind and in the comment section, tell me what you like and how I can improve this video. And if you have liked it, don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Till next time, thank you.